and I'm hinging slightly forward with my upper body. I like to do this. It's a bit challenging for the balance and you're just picking that leg up and down. Again, if the arms are confusing you, then don't worry so much about those. And down, it's a squat. And back, side and back. A few more like this. Try to get low. And we're gonna come in, across and in. Straight knee pull and diagonal knee pull. Down and pressing through the heel. Both tap and tap. Come back to the knees, explode forward, tap, 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 both tap and tap. Come back all the way down, all the way forward. Four more, and back, three, four, three, down and up, out and in. All the way down, eight, seven, six, out to the side and in, blowing out. Try to use your shoulders and push down in opposition. Out and in. Six, to the back. Straight arm lift to the back. And really try to feel the front of your thighs catching. Back and back. So you need to be pushing against your heels as that pivot point. We're gonna start taking this down and up. So it's down, 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 up, up. Up and five, four, last thing, eight, seven, heels. It's lowering, coming up. Breathe, this should be on fire. Side, again, lowering with control and then coming up, down, hips push. Squeeze those glutes forward at the same time. And to tuck, you need to squeeze your glute and push, push, and push, stand front, and then back. Are you feeling this oblique work? And then back, I'm stuck. down and up. Keep that leg turned out so the outer thigh leads, and lift, tuck against it, and up. Your hip, tucking your hip, pushing your glute, making a fist there, it's gonna help you lift the leg. It's up and down. If you're not there yet, then just keep the knee on the ground, and push into the front hand, and poke. You're hovering just slightly, slightly, feeling, the entire time. Push into the front hand, try to stay upright. Up, back and up. I know it's tough. Push and up and in. Push and in. So I've got my hands up, down and up. So we're just twisting and chopping to the back with a nice rounded arm. Really pull your belly button in. Eight, seven. If you want to, put your other hand behind your head and help yourself to engage your upper abs. So there's four levels, then three, Walk and walk, walk and walk. Keeping your legs slightly wider, so you're in three, two, one. Stretching out the side body, so you should have felt those obliques engage in many a way. Really push that hip forward, stretching the front of the thigh. Figure four, stretch for the glutes. And lean and lean, that should feel really good. 